We know who one of the directors of this story is. Oh God, why was Drake a producer, man? I guarantee that Drake probably made Sydney uh, Sweeney sign an NDA and took her to his room, put her in a little Euphoria high school outfit and pretended that she was like a high school girl and just fucked the shit out of her. <laughs> High school is one of the most unique and memorable times of your life. If you're on the lucky side, you end up with a sane mind, not scarred from any experiences, graduating and get to go to the school of your dreams. If you're not so lucky, well, there's a lot of outcomes. You end up as a just put the fries in the bag guy. You end up with three kids with someone you pinky promised in the ninth grade that you would love for life. And now you're fighting over custody of who gets to keep the kids. It sounds crazy, but I've seen it happen. But something I've been thinking of as it hits three years, four next year since I graduated. Two months. Is how wrong of a dream I was sold into when I was younger. When oh, mean. I thought high school was gonna be paradise. I thought like my main goal of high school was to like get into the popular kids friend group. Come to find out that like nobody likes the popular kids. It's crazy, man. When you're in elementary school and middle- Cloud, you class of 2024? Well, I'll turn 18. I might as well tell y'all about, about myself. I'm 18, y'all. I just graduated like two months ago. School, man, oh man, is that ambition of high school at its peak? And I gotta blame all the f TV, Disney Channel, Nickelodeon shows that led me up to those moments. I feel like every kid's introduction to the fantasy high school experience was high school musical. I remember when I was younger seeing it and thinking, yeah. Bro, well, no, I thought high school musical was like high school in real life. I thought high school was gonna be like amazing, man. All high school is is just dancing on tables and having some cool drama with your friends? Awesome! I really thought as soon as I entered the facility, we was gonna start dancing on the spot. Nigga. I never took a dance class, but shit, I thought I would just learn automatically by walking into school. Like, I wanna understand the reason Nigga, why there was so much dancing in high school shows. Nowadays, the shows are more drama focused and I don't see it happen a lot. But before, they were finding reasons to start break dancing randomly <coughs> oh man stage four brain cancer isn't for the week i probably won't even make it to graduation <laughs> don't worry billy as you know what we always say if you have cancer today call us dancers to save the day ain't no and then that just dies yeah, that's the last word he heard, Gango. I don't have that type of energy at 7 a.m. in the morning. Like, were y'all up till 6 just practicing the routine before you got in Lou the school? Lee? Or did everyone perfectly naturally align to do the exact same dances at the exact same time? Ugh, Tommy, it's just a sh Shut up, bitch, and answer the question! It's also Yo, funny the? looking back at the shows because you could tell when they couldn't find someone young to play the role. The victorious ones were the most hilarious because it would be so obvious it wasn't a team. Why is pulling? Like, they don't even hide it. Who is this? Grown ass n with a full beard. He looks. Oh me, that that trying to pull a little Dan Snyder Diddy on some shit. Looks like he got a clock in the warehouse job in about ten minutes. And do you notice anything about this scene? Only that somebody's mother got put in as the actor instead of them. Like, lady, this weak ass bow tie isn't making you look any younger. I refuse to believe they couldn't find someone at a younger age in Hollywood, the place of actors, to simply be a background character and mumble some words. They just felt lazy and didn't. I'm loving this little like elevator, nice fancy restaurant music, man. I feel like paying them like they do to their writers. It's also weird to me how none of the characters get dress coded on anything and <laughs> Oh boy, do they need some dress coding. Never mind Victorious. Euphoria is like Vic- Nigga, Euphoria is like a fucking parody to high school. Niggas was over here talking about, yo, Euphoria is so accurate to high school. No, it's not, nigga. What school y'all be going to, bro? Like, what? Nigga, I ain't met one classmate who fucking did str video- who, did who was a fucking video porn star. Or video cam girl, whatever. Especially if she was fat. Like, no, I've never seen that before. I mean, I get, I like, some of my, a lot of my classmates were on drugs and shit, but nigga, they wasn't on fucking Rue's fucking level, nigga. Victorious, but if Dan Schneider could actually write his thoughts down. Who was letting these high schoolers? Yeah, like, nigga, no, bro, nobody's wearing this to high school, bro. Like, no, you're, they're finna get dress coded, man. Like, what the hell? Walk around in these itty bitty fits without a word from the faculty. I remember in my high school getting dress coded for things like even having headphones too big. You walked around and they had a chance at calling you out for anything. The more older you get, the more you realize how weird it is that grown men probably in their 40s and 50s are setting up these scenes in this fictional high school scenario. We know who one of the directors of this story is, so uh, it kind of makes sense. Like at least in the older Oh god, why was Drake a producer, man? That nigga was over here stroking his shit to uh, Sydney Sweeney and shit. 
I guarantee that nigga Drake probably made Sydney uh, Sweeney sign an NDA and took her to his room, put her in a little Euphoria high school outfit, and pretended that she was like a high school girl and just fucked the shit out of her. I guarantee. He probably pissed on her too. Let me chill, man. I'm finna get canceled. For shows, it wouldn't be as overtly sexual with the characters. But now it's like the Hollywood writers don't even hide their predatorness. But back to Victorious. Another thing Victorious made me look forward to was lockers for some reason. They used to make lockers look like a necessity to your time in high school. People would have their shit and shows dripped out in anything. And especially in Victorious. Like, how are they even getting these locker designs approved? Okay, I can't, like, speak for this one. Because in my school, we did use our lockers. Like, the lockers was, like, the hangout spot. But for most public schools, they niggas don't even know what their locker is. But they don't even know they, they don't even know their locker number for real. By the school, somebody could have taped a gun to the. I feel like we need to change that culture, bro. Like I feel like lockers need to like you feel me be more popular again. An aesthetic and the faculty probably wouldn't even care. I don't even remember the times I used my locker when I was in school. It could just be because my school was really ghetto and you know people just broke your. F locker at random times for fun like okay i'm not giving any criminal advice youtube just, just to make sure but a lot of the old lockers you could really just use a credit card and swipe that and just open it but regardless the image they make of the locker experience is so big for no reason in a show i'll see them casually hanging out at their lockers the whole time just talking like Y'all don't got class? I wouldn't even have time to visit my locker in between my classes. How are y'all getting all this time? Time just slows down when they're at their lockers, I guess. One thing these shows do somewhat get right is the popular kids. Like, the popular kids tend yeah. to be the athletes and the sports players and the cheerleaders and whatnot. But what they don't talk about is the absolute downfall of these kids. At this point, we've all heard of peaking in high school, and it genuinely is one of the- is it is it just me or does Sydney Sweeney look better with clothes than without them? Like, am I weird for that? A lot of women look better with clothes than, like, without them. Especially women with big titties. The reason why is because when women have big titties, they're usually, like, floppy. Because, naturally, they're big, so, like, they had to, like, flop down. That's why, like, women, like, that's why titties look better in a bra, always. Because it holds them up, it props them up, perks them out. You feel me? That's just what it is. Uh, women, women with fat asses, if they know how to, like, dress in, like, you feel me, just know how to dress for real, looks better, like, you feel me, with clothes on, too, bro. But like, there's nothing wrong with being decent, bro. We don't always have to see women naked, man. I don't know. Just leave something to their imagination sometimes, man. The saddest things that can happen to you. Like, I'm glad I wasn't even close to the calibers of peaking. Because after high school, seeing the downfall of kids that used to be at their top notch is just sad. All you see in these shows is how cool and great the experience is for the popular kids. Their cool little petty dramas between their friend groups and stuff. All the great Yo, parties quick. they went to and through. Yo, quick cloud thought. I ain't gonna lie. Quick cloud thought. Yo, if everybody just walked around naked, how do you feel like society will be? First off, I feel like most people's private parts would stink. I'm really just talking about girls. But, like, I also feel like guys' balls and dicks will be, like, you feel me, bursting and popping at all times, bro. I also feel like nobody would be, like, you feel me, sexual. Because, nigga, we already see your body. Like, only other thing, you feel me, that I need to do is just find, find a way to, like, get my dick hard and just, you feel me, sticking into you. And also, would kids have to wear clothes? Because, I mean... That would be pretty weird if kids were naked all the time. Let's stop talking about this, actually. Yeah, let's let's just, let's progress. Which is no. Nah, imagine, imagine you're in school, right, and everybody's naked, and like kids have to be naked. Okay. All right, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> okay, let's move. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. No, no, no. That sounds weird. That's what sounds weird. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. Sounds weird. Okay, let me finish my thought. Let me finish my thought. Let me finish my thought. Okay, imagine like a principal was naked in front of kids, bro. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. I promise y'all that. I promise y'all that's what I meant. That's what I meant, Twitch. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. I promise y'all. I promise y'all that's what I meant. That's what I was gonna go to. I just said it the wrong way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also a lie. I was taught. I was thinking them parties was damn near gonna yo, be at legendary yo, levels. Yo, like some yo, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Celebrity Yo. parties. Not nah, Disney, just want to clarify. Daddy. And you probably end up thinking that in the moment, but in reality, it just ends up looking like the TikTok Riz party. Once these kids end up graduating and realize the whole world isn't in a single building, they can't take it anymore. I've seen dudes who were supposed to be star- <laughs> Nigga said extreme with Yo, yo, it just came out of context, bro. It came out of context. Like, yo, it came out of context, bro. <laughs> 
It came out of context. I, I was finna say the whole thought, but then once I first said the, uh, I wanted to stop myself, but I stopped myself like at the wrong time. I told, I told you, bro. I told you, bro. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Yo, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'm sorry. I'll take that one to the head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't even trying to clip for him. I wasn't trying to clip for him, bro. Like, yo. Hey, yo, 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 yo. My fault, bro. Our athletes end up at the warehouse job where they'll work the rest of their life. And that isn't a shit on nine to fives. There's nothing really wrong with that at first. That's a lot of people's first type of job anyways. But I mean, when you was boasting saying you were going to be better than everyone and acting at a higher age. Put the lead down, bro. I didn't, yo, okay, we're, this last time I'm talking about it. I didn't finish my thought, okay? Go, I, I'm gonna laugh at you. It's always the star athletes who have the worst downfalls. I don't know why. I guess they lose all ambition once they realize they're not making it to the league. And then we got the- What's like, athlete? Cause like, what athletes do, they revolve their whole life around sports. And like, once that shit's gone, like, they don't know what to do because that's what their whole life was, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Popular girls. It'll always be the girl that <laughs> your speaking privileges are gone. Just watch the video, nigga. <laughs> all the dudes wanted in school after graduating a year later with two kids ending up super bad and wanting to settle down right after that. Like, where's this side of the story, Victorious? Euphoria? Riverdale? Actually, I take that one back. Riverdale was never good. This Riverdale, like. That was never based on high school, nigga. They just tried to make it based on high school. TV, you're telling us it's it's a lie. Maybe try to help these kids by stopping the path they're heading to because it's not going to be fun for them. It's rare I've seen someone's high school popularity translate to college because newsflash is grown and no one cares. We got things to do. It's also funny in these shows how they treat certain positions in school like you need to get it or you failed at life. I don't know where the whole prom king and queen thing came from. Treating it like if yo, you yo, got- Yo, 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 don't actually clip that. Yo, y'all can't, y'all can't clip that, bro. Y'all literally can't clip that. Like, please don't. Please don't. Y'all finna like actually cook me, bro. It, you would become a part of the royal family. There's always some super big drama leading up to it for some reason in shows. Like everything built up. Resign, nigga. I'm not finna resign, bro. Look, Look Sky Crew. I'm very sorry for what I said. I, I didn't mean it in that context. Like, it just came out wrong, bro. Like, it really did. I don't want to see kids naked. At all. Alright. It just came out wrong, bro. Please don't clip that. Please don't ruin my career. Straight to the moment of the dance where everything's either gonna get solved or get worse. Straight up crashing out and doing anything to get prom king or queen. They would throw their front off a bridge if it meant they had a higher chance of getting it. But in reality, no one really gave a f Okay, let me not act like no one did care. Some people did from my experience. <laughs> you can share a cell with Drake is crazy. At least. But it was mostly the popular kids and their clique or whatever that really prioritized it. Everyone else just went to have fun with their friends. And after that day, not a single person even mentioned it. Were you supposed to be carried to royalty or something after? Oh, it's got lives to live. And it's the same thing with the school council image. In shows, they'll make school councils seem like Supreme Court when it comes to decisions. They determine a new building plans where the budget for funds go how much the teachers get paid when i was younger i used to think they legit had the same power as the principal of the entire school oh, i mean high school makes like class presidents seem like so important but they're really not at all bro w tommy <laughs> the way it was portrayed these kids were marketing themselves like they were running for government positions in reality the school council absolutely has no power it's really a position they give to a student to make the students feel like they have some type of power and most of the time it'll just be the popular kids running to fuel their ego i remember i had a friend who was in the school council and told me they couldn't even pick where the senior trip was gonna be but i'm not gonna lie some people definitely did go out their way to make it seem more important than it actually was i remember one girl told me she was really running to get experience because she wants to hold a political position in the future and i guess she is holding some type of position every night because four years later and she's a stripper now we're <laughs> i'm telling you bro like the cr yo the most random girls ever would just it turned into strippers bro after high school i'm telling you bro I just graduated. I don't, uh, yeah, that kind of tells you about my school. I'm not gonna lie. Path change of a career. Maybe she'll be our president in 2040. Who knows? Another lie I always see on these shows too is the high school sweetheart thing. I was definitely one of those kids growing up that thought as soon as I got in high school, I was gonna find my girlfriend. 
life. We were gonna be showing off to all the school and end up with a picture perfect family 10 years later. That's how it is in the shows. It has to be like that. You always have that token couple that's been together the whole show's time. They have an argument and the mystery gang has to solve the argument. But then you slowly realize that every single relationship is complete bull. Like if you're in high school right now and sad because it seems like everyone is cuffed up together and you're not, I'm telling you right now that does Oh, Sirius is rich? Yo, nigga. Oh, Sirius. Yo, I'll be seeing that nigga in every streams, bro. I'll be seeing that nigga in every streams, bro. He be showing love, bro. To everybody, bro. He be showing love. I love that nigga. Not matter at all. My image of love died as soon as I realized that all of it was a fabrication. High school relationships is the most immature and dumbest shit ever. It makes me glad I wasn't in one in high school because I know I would have done some cringy shit that I would still be cringing at today. And I realized this when I was already in school. Like, I remember a couple broke up over someone following somebody else. I know one single couple from high school that's still together and that's it. And even if they are together until college once they see a new set of people it's ggs for the other person right then it's just a competition of who's gonna break up first with the other one. it's like that meme of andy throwing away woody better they break up now than cheat on each other a real relationship is when you actually have to take on adult responsibilities and balance it so to wrap it up all the shows that lied to me about this wonderful fantasy experience you follow me on twitter instagram and tiktok as always follow him. i love you guys consensually and until next time i'm out I love y'all guys consensually, for sure, consensually.